Okay, there we are. This is the Samsung Galaxy Note um, with a 5.3 inch uh, screen. And uh, let's kick this video off and show a couple of things. Let's go into the Dolphin web browser. Right, what we're going to do now is show you how to set up a speed dial. So if we just tap on the address bar, type in uh, a web address. So let's go for, let's try YouTube. So we'll just uh, www. YouTube. And selection has already come up. So if we just tap on that. And we are straight in there. Right. Page is fully loaded. Let's go in there now and set up a speed dial. So tap on the address bar at the top with the stylus. Keep it on there. And the list of selections come up. What we need now is uh, add the speed dial. So if we just tap on add the speed dial. And the page is automatically set up a speed dial. So if we press the back key, the, the speed dial is set up. So if we just go through a couple of the websites now that are already set up, let's go on to the so weather application. Let's go in and have a look at that. So the Met Office, you can see that's uh, let's go press the back key. Now if we go into the next part of uh, the Met Office, you can get a uh, a regional forecast so if you can see there's one already set up there and it gives you uh, day by day so that's the Met Office uh, web application and the Dolphin web browser if you just come out of that let's try the Google News website That's come up pretty quick. You see the web browser works pretty good, quite smooth that. Also you can double tap as well. Comes up nice and then just scroll up and down. Very smooth action there. Return it to the side. Double tap. Of course you can do it with your stylus as well. Currently using the BT broadband uh, service. Just uh, usually getting about six megs per second. And uh, Pretty good on there. So this, as I say, this is a 5.3 inch screen there, so it's quite. Uh, and of course, you can. Uh, well, the page is set there. That's the mobile version. As you can see, the writing is quite large in the screen. Of course, you can go into the settings. Uh, settings are all down here if we type in uh, more there all the settings then for the web page are all there tab on and uh, there we go there's a list of settings there all for the page content and uh, data storage security settings it's all in there let's press with the back key there Let's go back to the top, tap off that. So it's, uh, it's pretty, uh, looks pretty good on that. So we'll just come out of there, press the, the back key twice. 
There we are. That's out of there. Right, let's give you a quick tip now on how to change the screen brightness without having to go into the settings. So let's take the stylus to the very top and if the... Uh, just basically move it along really. So let's go to the maximum brightness now. If we tap round about the clock area it gives the time. If we tap that and keep it on there it will take the screen to the full brightness. If you work along to the middle and tap on again, keep it there screen will go dimmer and dimmer the further left you go. Take it right to the far left. And the screen is now at the minimum dimness. So um, that's a quick way of uh, changing the screen brightness. Of course you could go into the settings and uh, I'll just show you that. Display. Screen brightness. And you could set it up automatically there if you wanted to. So let's put it right down to the bottom there. Okay. It's now on the minimum brightness. Press the back key. just to get it to maximum again tap on the top and it's gone bright again so basically the the stylus on the top on the notification top there that is the quickest way to affect the brightness without them to go into settings and it's uh, it's immediate as well even if you take it off a lock screen and uh, if the screen's too too dim and you want to brighten it up, take the stylus and tap the battery area and take it right to the full brightness then. So let's just come out of that. Let's have a look at the Google Play. Just loading up. It used to be called the Android Markets, now Google Play. You can see that looks pretty good on there. Let's give it a turn around. Once again, that's uh, it's a 5.3 inch screen. And, uh, and if we just scroll through now. Paid applications. Top three applications. Of course, you got featured categories on the far left. And have games, box, business, comics, communication. It's got a list on there. So let's come out of there. Back onto the home screen. As you can see, it's still got the, the multi uh, the multi screens currently set up for five. Um, you can add uh, more, you can get it, take it up to about 7. As you can see, it, uh, there's very hardly any lag there, next to no lag there. I'll go into the applications. Let's come back over there. So that's the Galaxy Note with a 5.3 inch screen, 1280 by 800 resolution. I think you'd agree, that's a fantastic screen. So I'll bring this video to the end now, and uh, any comments, always welcome. So until the next video, I'm signing out.